Hey there everyone, it looks like Microsoft has just jumped back with a marvelous and gorgeous piece of hardware, the Surface Studio. But is it really worth to buy and what are the things and what is the first impression that it gives on me? My name is Itesh and let's get started. So yesterday Microsoft got a new release out there and this time they have gone through a little deep and they have gone with the hardware as well. So Surface is really a pretty impressive piece of hardware out there. And a lot of companies previously have tried out with the all-in-one PC, but this time Microsoft did the thing right way. They really hit the ball out of the park out there. The marketing team has done a brilliant job in designing the videos, the website, the advertisement, pretty much everything is right with this. But I'm pretty much scared of a couple of things. Now, don't get me wrong, I usually use the Mac, but I'm a big fan of Microsoft too. For in my initial days of learning the programming, computers, technology, I got started with the Windows and it's pretty easy to use, it's smooth, but there is one thing that always bugged me off as a Windows. And I know that's not a problem with the virus, that is the heating issues. Now, I deal with a lot of videos out there. In fact, every single day I deal up with the videos and heavy softwares like Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, or maybe Premiere Pro and something like these. And one thing that Microsoft hardware has always been lagging around is the heating issues. If the hardware is gonna heat up along, it's not of any use for me. If the sound of the fan actually is quite noisy. And of course, how we can forget the blue screen of death. But keeping these things aside, I am expecting these things will not happen in the Surface Studio. So what the Surface Studio is, it's a pretty gigantic and a gorgeous machine out there. It's pretty expensive. It starts with $3,000 and go up to $4,200, but these kinds of machines are not for everyone. If you are a school going kid, or if you are getting started in the programming, these machines are never meant for you. So stop those kidney jokes. They are really, really boring nowadays. Go ahead, find something new. We can live with the one eye. So go ahead and find something new out there. Kidney jokes are not gonna be much impressive out there. Coming back onto the topic, if you'll ask me, will I go for it? I would say no, not at now. Obviously, because I have recently invested in a iMac, which is a big one, uh, going with the 32 GBs of the RAM, two GBs of my graphic cards. But again, if I had to buy anything big like that now, I would have waited a little bit more longer. Why? Because now iMac has a good competition. Studio comes up with up to 32 GBs of the RAM, that is pretty high gigs, and up to four gigs of the graphic cards, and almost two TVs of the hard disk, which is kind of a normal. And yes, the resolution is quite nice, a little more than the 4K. Also, a couple of things that is impressing me is the hinge and the new hardware. That is really a marvelous piece of technology. The rotating dial is pretty impressive. It works based on what application you are using. In the ad or advertisements, we have seen that it can rotate with the color dial as well or as well the thickness of your pens as well. But how is it going to compete with the other designer things like uh, there is a Sintley tablet out there and some Wacom tablets out there. So it's gonna be a tough competition for the Microsoft, but I would say this is a right step. Microsoft is back into the game with this piece of hardware. I would for sure be taking care that how this hardware is performing because a couple of my friends are trying or are thinking to buy that. So I will be definitely looking for the couple of things like the blue screen of death, which is going to look really nice on the 4K. But I'm expecting that is not gonna happen. The hardware and the software both are now compatible and I expect that these things will not happen. Also, very, very important for me and a lot of you people out there is the heating issues. How much loud is going to be the fan? For the people who record videos like me, noise is one of the most important factor that we have to take care. While let's just say I'm recording a screencast and my fan is making a vroom out there, it's not gonna make sense for me. So. Definitely that's one bummer for me and it has been a bummer over the year, but I'm looking for that out there. Now it is, they are saying that within a couple of months, the sale is going to be in India for the broad. They are, I think they have already started out the sales, but let's see, I'll be back with the studio because I'm really excited with this hardware. Microsoft has done a pretty innovative job and has challenged the Apple openly out there that yes, we are back into the game. You really need to see and fix up a lot of things out there. 
So I'll be back with that. Until then, if you haven't yet watched out the Studio Surface Studio from the Microsoft, go ahead, watch that. It's the new piece of technology out there. And in case you are new to the channel, make sure that you hit the like button out there and please hit the subscribe button. It's free. Do hit the subscribe button so that we can talk next time. And when the next time I appear on the YouTube, you can get a notification for that. Isn't that interesting? Yes, it is. So go ahead, click on the subscribe. And till then, bye-bye.